Welcome to Island Baptist Church. Today's children's sermon is in Luke 1, the New Covenant. All right, kids. Come right back here. Come right up here. Sit with me. Right up here. How are things? Week and a half left of school. It's going to be great, right? I brought some of my favorite pets. There's no more in there, right? Nope. This one's my favorite. This is my favorite. That's my favorite. I got to have them back. Favorite, favorite, <laughs> favorite, favorite. Oh, wait a minute. I'm missing one. Who's got it? There's one more. Okay, we're going to have to look then. You look up under there to see if it's... If you look up under there. It's not in your hood, is it? Y'all don't have it in your pocket, right? Who's got it? These are my favorite pets. I can't do without them. Oh, wait a minute. I found him. Do you have your favorite stuff? If it, your favorite stuff, if it's missing, do you know it? What's your favorite stuff? It may be not be Beanie Babies, or I don't know what it is. But if you walk in a room and you see it's not there, you're automatically, uh-oh. My favorite stuff has gotten down basically to my wallet and my car keys. And if they're not where they're supposed to be, I have huge problems. You know, God has favorites too. You know what his favorites are? All of us. That's exactly right. In fact, Jesus told a story because some people were getting on to him because he was hanging out with people who they called sinners. He told them a story. He says, which one of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one, won't leave the 99 and go find the one? And of course, that is what they did. That's what shepherds did. You couldn't do without a sheep. I mean, you couldn't lose even one. That was They were like family. I mean, they literally lived with these, these animals. And so... And, and a sheep by itself can't, won't live very long, and so you had to go rescue it. So which one of you wouldn't do that? Of course, they would all do that. He says, and how much more will God, missing one of his sheep, he's talking about us, not going to find him. He says, There's, there is more rejoicing in heaven when one sinner repents than 99 who don't need, to, need repentance. God is so concerned about the lost person. Did you know that? What is a lost person? You hear people say that so-and-so is lost. It may talk about emotionally, he may be upset, or I don't know, psychologically, there may be something going on. But really, the, the, the lostness of people is not, it's not a psychological or, a, or an emotional thing. It actually is a heart thing. Separating us from God is a thing called sin. God loves sinners. In fact, the reason why we're even here today and why the earth hasn't ended already is because God loves sinners. He loves us passionately, and he's seeking after us, and it's more than just like a beanie baby kind of love. He loves us so passionately that he was willing to give his one and only son to die to pay for us. In fact, we're going to be commemorating that here in the Lord's Supper, this bread and this juice representing the body and the blood of Jesus and his sacrifice that he made for us. That's how great God's love is for us, how passionate he is. For the lost sheep, he cares and he seeks for us. And so we're going to, we're, that's what we're about here at Island Baptist Church. That's what we're here. That's why we meet together on Sunday mornings. That's what we do. The ministries that y'all are involved in, the youth ministries, the things that Miss Irma does with y'all. It's all about just getting to the heart or actually getting you where Jesus can deal with your heart. And so we're going to be talking about that today. And we're also going to be doing something special. And I want us to, um, this week we're going to be giving out and want to thank, first of all, the congregation also for participating in this um, ministry of giving away these presents. We're going to be giving them out this week, and if you'll see in front of us, we have this, these uh, stockings, and we're going to be asking a blessing on these stockings. Again, they're, it's just stuff. I mean, it's kind of like a beanie baby or whatever. Everybody's going to get presents, right? Well, we're looking for more than just giving kids stuff. We're actually looking for a, a foothold in their lives and their families so that we can get them the ultimate need that they have and get them in contact with the Savior who's seeking them. So I want us to pray, first of all, and just thank God that he seeks us out, but also pray a blessing over these this week as they're, as they're distri distributed. So let's pray together. God, we thank you that you sent your son as proof of your love for us, that you laid your life down for us to rescue us and save us. And Lord, I thank you that if we were that 100th sheep that, that wandered away and got himself lost and tangled up and 
in great danger, Lord, that you left the 99 to find us. And we are here today as a testimony that you are a God of great love, a God who is relentless uh, in pursuing us. And we are thank you for that. Lord, we pray that you bless these stockings as, as we minister, Lord, in Laguna Heights, that it would, be, um, it would be a foothold inside of a life, inside of a family, inside of a circumstance where not just, not just so that we can minister, but so that you through us can minister in their lives and reach and find these lost ones. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. Thank you that we can participate in this ministry of love, and we're asking your blessings on it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for visiting. Find us at www.islandbaptist.org.